like Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark, they got their teams hey, in the playoff hunt. And it's not a huge hunt because it's only 12 teams in the WNBA and eight once again will make the playoffs. But still, I'm intrigued. I'm happy to see it. <laughs> hey, we live now, really. I've been ready, and I've been really looking forward to talking about the WNBA. And here's why. All right? The WNBA, if you don't know, right now, uh, I think actually tonight or tomorrow, it's still a few games, but I'm pretty sure probably tonight is probably the last uh, couple games. So the WNBA, the All-Star games are coming up. All right? So... The All-Star game is very near and dear. So what does that mean? That the season, damn near, when they come back after the All-Star break, hey, it's going to be almost time for playoffs. It's going to be almost time to see what these girls really do with the playoffs. We go, it's going to be almost time to see if Angel Reese get her team to the playoffs. It's going to be almost time to see if Kaitlyn Clark get her team to the playoffs. Because I'm not going to lie to you. This year's playoffs, oh, it's going to be lit. I know in the WNBA, this year's playoffs, it is going to go down, and I'm going to be fucking tuned in every single week. The WNBA, if you want to tune in, this Sunday, their All-Star game is actually this Sunday. I'm pretty sure. I've seen the date, and the date is actually in my title, uh, or in my not in my title, in my thumbnail. So if you want to see the date, I'm pretty sure it said it was the 20th, and the 20th is Sunday. So, oh, oh wait, is that Sunday or is that Saturday? Hold on. Dang, I think that's a Saturday, actually. Hold on, hold on. Let me fact check, man, because I don't, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be giving y'all the wrong information. You feel me? I don't want to be giving y'all the wrong information. So guess what? The WNBA, that game for the All-Star game for the women is Saturday. All right. So I was correct. All right. This Saturday, the WNBA All-Star game is happening. And if you don't know, that girl, Caitlin Clark, man, hey. She had her jerseys sell out in 17 minutes. Yes, Caitlin Clark her, had her goddamn jerseys sell out in 17 minutes. I was damn near astounded. But it's to be expected, though. You feel me? Caitlin Clark, she be doing a damn thing. You feel me? And I ain't going to lie. I'm very intrigued to see how the rest of this season goes for not only Caitlin Clark, but Angel Reese, and also to see if they can get their team in the playoffs. I believe they can get their teams in the playoffs because at the end of the day, in the WNBA, if you don't know this, the WNBA only has 12 teams. All right. They, they, it's only about 12 of you. All right. So it's 12 teams in the WNBA and eight teams. <laughs> yes. So eight teams. I don't know why I did that, but eight teams makes it to the playoffs. All right. So literally two teams. Well, it doesn't even matter from each conference. So conferences, when you make it to the playoffs, it doesn't matter. So in the WNBA, they take whoever has the best record. So say if you have the best record you're in the WNBA, you're in. If you have damn near the second to best record in the WNBA, you're in. The top eight teams with the best record in the WNBA, them are the ones, or they are the ones. I don't know why I said them. But they are the ones who make the playoffs, if you didn't know that. So, yes, the playoffs will consist of eight teams. And I believe that Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, they're going to be in the playoffs this year. So guess what? It's going to be a lot of eyeballs tuned in and watching. And I'm going to be one of them. You feel me? I'm very intrigued and I'm very excited to see how the playoffs go with these ladies. Because I believe Caitlin Clark, she's going to make a nice little run this year. Maybe, you know, not maybe not make it out of the first round, but I'm just happy to see them in the playoffs because it's going to make it interesting. You feel me? Hey, when she's shooting them threes, she, she might have a couple games when she's going crazy. The Caitlin Clark, she's been balling as of late. They started one and eight. The Fever did. And Caitlin Clark now, she has them sitting at eight and 12. And Caitlin Clark, she's been balling. You feel me? They were talking about her really not stepping up in the fourth quarter. Her kind of, you feel me, going out a little bit, Um, you know, uh, I want to say going out, not sad, not bad, but 
she wasn't really performing in the fourth quarter. So let's just say that. And now she's performing in the fourth quarter. She's answered the call. Kaylin Clark's damn near. She's averaging like 17, 6, and 8. Like she's she's balling. She's leading the league in assists right now. You feel me? Kaylin Clark is damn near doing a damn thing. You feel me? But at the same time, don't forget about that girl, Angel Reese, though. Angel Reese, she's balling. Angel Reese is doing a damn thing. Angel Reese is in her bag, ultimately. And I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody let a fly in my studio. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to go crazy. So if y'all see me just get up one, you know, out of the blue and just kill a fly, then know at the end of the day I had to. Because I do not play with insects. I don't play with bugs. But flies are the most annoying thing in the world. And this fly, <laughs> he got a death wish because you didn't came in the wrong place. <laughs> but anyway, back to what I was saying. Yes, like Kaylin Clark, she's going to be her, all right, in the playoffs this year. She's going to get her team in the playoffs because the honestly, the bottom like four teams that have the worst records in the WNBA, and here I can tell you because I actually haven't pulled up. So the WNBA standards right now, the worst teams in the WNBA are the Wings, the Sparks, and then it's the Mystics and the Dream, okay? And then also with Caitlin Clark and the, the Indiana Fever, they're sitting at 11 and 14, and then with Angel Reese and Chicago Sky, they're sitting at 10 and 14. So Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, both of their prospective teams, they're damn near neck and neck. You feel me? And like I told you, Caitlin Clark, they lost the, the – they went one and eight. You feel me? They lost a nice chunk of them games at the beginning of the season. But now they've gone in the last 12. They've been playing good. They've been balling. You feel me? Andrew Reese, she's been balling. Chicago Sky, they've been a little inconsistent. Chicago Sky has. But they've been winning, though. You feel me? They only won game back but behind uh, Caitlin Clark in the fever. You feel me? So Caitlin Clark right now in the fever, they're one game ahead of the Chicago Sky. But – I can foresee them making the playoffs because, like I said, the two, well, the four worst teams in the NBA, uh, one team is five and 19. So the Wings are five and 19. The Sparks are six and 18. The Mystics are six and 19. So those three teams that I just named, they're likely not going to make the playoffs. And then even the Dream, like the Dream, um, they're damn near sitting at, uh, at seven and 10 right now. Oh, no, 7 and 17. Excuse me, 7 and 17. So the dream, they're sitting at 7 and 17 right now. So honestly, if I'm being honest, those four teams, <laughs> they ain't going to make the playoffs. So Angel Reese and the Indiana Fever, if they can at least go probably go over 500, you know, to end the season, I think both of them will make the playoffs. And that's going to be great for the WNBA. To have both of your star rookies in the playoffs, their rookie year, that's huge. That's huge. And I know, like, at the end of the day, like I said, it's 12 teams in the WNBA and eight of them make the playoffs. So it's not so it's not that hard to make the playoffs. But at the same time, like, you feel me? Like, the Indiana Fever, last year they was the worst team in the NBA, in the WNBA, excuse me. Last year, yes, the Indiana Fever, obviously, that's why Caitlin Clark got selected, number one, because they were the worst team. Let's make it make sense. You feel me? So at the end of the day, like, Angel Reese in – Caitlin Clark, they got their teams hey, in the playoff hunt. And, and it's not a huge hunt because it's only 12 teams in the WNBA. And eight, once again, will make the playoffs. But still, I'm intrigued. I'm happy to see it. All right, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. All right, so don't be a hater. All right, yeah, it's only eight teams that make it. Yeah, it's only 12 teams total. But hey, be like that. It be like that. All right, don't, don't hate. But like I said, man, I can see Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese both making the playoffs this year. And I think it's damn near shoe in. They just got a damn near win the rest of the like at least win. Like I said, five at least go five hundred for the rest of the season. And honestly, with the remaining games, I don't really think like after they come back because low key they break is long. Like after the All Star game, they them like the girls <laughs> they don't come back until like damn near August, bro. And the All Star game is Saturday, so they got they basically get like a month off. That's different from the NBA because I think in the NBA like. You only get like a few weeks off after the all-star break or during the all-star break gap. But in the WNBA, they get these girls like a month off, <laughs> which is crazy. I've never really heard of that. But, um, hey, it's cool, though. It's cool. And for the most part, too, like after they come back from, you know, um, after they come back from the uh, all-star break, 
they probably get total, I want to say, let me count, 4, 8, 12, 16. So they got, after the all-star break, they got 16 games left. So basically, within those 16 games, Angel Reese and Kaitlyn Clark on a prospective teams, they really just got to go over 500. They really just got to win half them games, and I can see them still making the playoffs. So that both of these girls, they will be in the playoffs their first season. You know, I'm predicting that. And it's going to be a great thing to watch. And it would be crazy as hell, too, if they played each other in the playoffs. Oh, my God. What? What? Let's talk about it. You feel me? If they played each other in the playoffs, hey, that's going <laughs> hey, to be spooky. It's going to get real spooky. And that would be a draw again, just like it was in college. You feel me? With them, you know, competing for the national championship. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited, all right? So, SO to Andrew Reese, SO to Caitlin Clark. Um, you know, keep on doing your thing, girls. Keep on doing your thing. You know, SO to uh, Asia Wilson, you know, keep on doing your thing as well. And then also, too, man, there's a lot of girls who's been balling, too, like in the WNBA. Like, I've been watching a decent amount of games lately. Of course, I'm mostly watching the Indiana Fever and Chicago Sky. But, you know, I've, I've, I've been picking up on a couple other games, and I enjoy watching the women's basketball game. Like, I'm enjoying watching the competitiveness. And, yes, it is a little different, and I'm not putting, like, when I watch the game, I'm not really – putting a lot into it like i'm not just sitting there like oh my god what are they doing like i'm kind of doing something else and i'm watching it but i'm enjoying having it in the background like i'm enjoying oh damn she just hit a three oh damn she just saw stuff and got to the bucket like i ain't gonna lie to wnba hey hey yeah yeah i got a fan man i'm here i'm here for it. y'all hit me reporting on it you hit me talking about it so hey hey make sure you show your boy some love man let me get some free tickets man i ain't trying to pay for another chicago sky game man that ticket was kind of expensive no, I'm gassing it. <laughs> but uh, seriously, though, man, hey, I'm intrigued. I'm happy to see it. I'm excited, you know, for what the future uh, is for the WNBA. Like I said, man, hey, I'm here for it. I'm here for the progress of the league. I'm here for Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark making it to the playoffs this year. And we're going to see how it all go down. We're going to see how it shapes up. And if they play each other in the playoffs, <sighs> Hey, that's going to be just what the doctor ordered. Just what the doctor ordered. But on another note, man, I do, before I get off the WNBA, um, I do want to talk about Caitlin Clark potentially still having an opportunity to go play for Team USA. So Deanna Teresi, so one of the great legends in the WNBA, she's damn near injured right now. So she just got injured, and there are a few reports that saying Caitlin Clark can potentially, 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 you feel me? Take her spot in the U.S. Olympics. And for me, I'm saying, hell yeah. Because at the end of the day, Caitlin Clark deserves to be on the U.S. Olympic team. That's going to make me watch it. That's going to probably make you watch it too. You feel me? And I'm just saying, like, if they want three times the viewers, if they want a little bit more cheese, if they want to sell out some more jerseys in the WNBA, you better let Caitlin Clark go. You got blessed. Not, not you know, Deanna, I'm sorry that you got injured. But, hey, at the end of the day, like, Caitlin Clark should be going to the U.S. Olympic team. Angel Reese should be going to play for the U.S. Olympic team. Like, come on, let's be real. Yes, they rookies. Yes, they haven't proved themselves yet. It's only a rookie season. They only, like, what, 16, 18 games in. To, but they deserve it. They should. Hey, if you want eyeballs, you feel me, for the optics, put their ass in there. If you want me watching it, if you want other people in the world watching it put Caitlin Clark in the you feel me? Don't 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 let Caitlin Clark not be in the US Olympics team because she a rookie, because she doesn't have the experience, because she's because we only taking vets and people who's proven themselves. Nah, man. Hey, at the end of the day, when you got a Tom Brady, when you got a Tiger Woods, when you got a goddamn like I'm talking about this because of the hype. I'm not saying that she's literally gonna compare to these people but like when you got a player like that like you want eyeballs watching when you got a lebron james you want him playing for the usa olympics team not comparing caitlin clark to any of those guys who i just named but when you got a big draw put their ass in the spotlight what you mean like <laughs> let people see them let people watch them you feel me like it's, it's only right so i'm just saying i'm just saying caitlin hey i hope that you can be on the usa olympics team you know, who, who's to say that she she might 
even accept it. She might say, nah, y'all passed something the first time. I don't even want to go, you know, but it's going to be interesting. So Kayla Clark, like I said, she has a potentially, potentially she has a chance to still be on the U.S. Olympics team, you know, because it has been an injury. So we're going to see. We're going to see, you know. But anyway, um, once again, man, Angel Reese, SODU, Caitlin Clark, SODU, SO to all the other women in the WNBA. Keep on putting it down, man. Keep on uh, balling. Keep on doing your damn thing. All right. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds and how things are going to go from here. All right. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But moving on, man. <laughs> hey, we live now, really. <laughs>